Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker, Louis Vuitton. MSN.com has made a list of 11 items that are worth it at Louis Vuitton and not worth it at Louis Vuitton. So we're going to go through these items. Very interesting to see how social media kind of picks and chooses what's worth what. So we're going to try to play a little game together here. Um, and we're going to choose together if it's a yes or no for, for us. But I'm also going to tell you what this article has decided in terms of what is worth the money and what isn't at Louis Vuitton. Now, first, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday. You're all invited to join the live chats. Let me cue you guys in. So this is going to be a fun little game um, because I need you guys to say yes, no, yes, no together with me. And we're going to go through these items together and we're going to show them together. So um, it's going to be also interesting to see later on when I post the video in the comment section down below what you guys think as well. Okay, thank you so much, Kumalita, loving the hair. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's cue in the first one and see how it looks like because... Oh, thank you so much, Steph's Adventures and Fab Finds. Hold on, let me pop your cherry first. We are around, you know, we're in Halloween season and we do have our Galaxy Jack-O-Lantern pumpkin, which has the poppers inside. Oh, we have a we have a red one, honey. We're going to pop a red cherry. Thank you so much for the super chat. So kind of you, Steph. Here goes. Ooh, okay. Ah, <laughs> yes. Ten dollars super pop. chat from Steph Sand Ventures and Fab Finds. Thank you so much, sweetie. And hi, Trisha. Welcome. All right, you guys. Let's cue in the first one. This is this is gonna be a doozy. Okay. Now, it, what do you think? <laughs> so yeah, several thousand dollars. Oh, $6,400 plus tax. And, well, Unique says yes. Steph says no. Well, let me tell you, MSN, well, the article, oh, it gives Logomania flasher coat no. Tiny Dirt Potato, nope. Trisha is like, eh. Ella says, it's I. <laughs> Natalie says no. Suzy Q says, now look at you all waking up. Look at everybody being perky and commenting. Okay, you like videos like these. <laughs> I don't hate it. Well, MSN says yes. They say it's worth it. They say that this is a timeless piece. I'm like, it's a little bit too much logo. Um, $6,400. Eh, I'm going to say it ain't, it ain't worth it. If this was without the logos all over it, it had just the logos on the buttons, and the buttons were not gold, and the price was, let's say, 4000 then I would say, okay, that's a forever Louis Vuitton piece. But this makes it very, it dates it very much. I don't think it's worth it in this particular constellation. But having a coat like this from a brand that like this, that, yeah. I would say yes, but not in this constellation. I agree with you, Jacob. Too much logo, right? It's all about the logo. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, logo can be fun, but like, yeah, way too much logo. Interesting. So the magazine said yes. I say no in this constellation. A lot of you said no, but some of you also said yes. Let me show you the next picture. Okay. Now, uh, it's kind of white on white, so you can't really see it very well. But what we have here, uh, well, they call it a basic white shirt. For Louis Vuitton standards, maybe basic, but I wouldn't call this a basic white shirt because obviously you can see that there's like all that extra little trimming going on on the on the sleeves and all the little ribbing going on on the bodice. There's like a whole texture surrounding it. It's not a basic shirt. However, $1,660 more or less. By the way, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts, just my opinion. Everything's alleged. Cyber Coco says I don't like it. Trisha says no. Um, how much? 1,660 plus tax. Madame says for that price, no. Yeah. Like how much do you guys think this should cost? Like to like Louis Vuitton. Okay. So 
it's like a knitted stretchy probably lycra type of thing it looks like those socks like girls wear on sunday school but uh reimagined as a top kind of looks like that tyler so i owe you six hundred dollars madame says one euro 900 says unique 800 27 at dress barn says sweet things 3k coco kitty you want to make it cost more than what it already than what it already costs coco kitty it's 1,600. You want it to cost 3,000? It looks like Club Monaco sale rack, says Tyler. Well, I would say 400. Like, for Louis Vuitton style. Like, if I were to consider getting something like this from Louis, 400. Not 1,660. It's beautiful, but not for that price, I'm told. Well, let me show you the next piece. So, I guess mostly it's a no from everyone. And it's a no for me as well, too expensive. It's also a no from the magazine, from the article. Now, let me, is it a t-shirt material? Knit. It's knit. It's knit. It seems, yeah, it's knit. Nah, I don't know. Not so sure. It could be knit. Trying to give Chanel a run for their money, says Kev. Right? Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, so here we have <clears throat> the Alma, I want to say Alma Bibi. It's not the MM size, it's a smaller size. So, well, is the Alma worth it? Released around about 1934. Couple grand, it'll set you back a couple grand. Everybody, almost everybody says it's worth it. Yes, for the Alma. Yes, yes, yes. Give me the mini. I don't care. I'm a sucker, says Unique Rivera. Uh, everybody says yes. Well, the magazine also says yes. The online publication also says yes. Honestly, I also say yes. I'm a sucker for this. <laughs> so for me, it's worth it. It's a classic. It's been around since the 30s. Granted, they produce it without any flaws. Because we know that they've been lacking the quality control department from time to time in later years. Let's say if this thing comes out of the fecture without any flaws, I'm also going to give it a yes. Right? Of course, Kev, the bolid for you. The bolid came even before the Alma. Uh, but they never want to sell us a bolid. We go to Hermes and we, I asked them the other day, you have a bolid? No. So come on. What are we talking about? Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Next one, the Louis Vuitton beach bag. Now, the Louis Vuitton beach bag, $3,100, more or less, plus tax, price tag. Okay, no, unique, Suzy, no, Trisha, no. I think this looks better in other colorways, says Blonde and Chatty. Coco, no. Tiny says no. Dixie says no. Tyler says, no, it gives pumpkin spice latte. Stay at home, mom, of eight. Uh, is it a freebie with purchase? Oh, my God. Okay, so everybody's throwing shade at this one. Everybody says no to a $3,100 more or less plus tax Louis Vuitton beach bag. The publication also says not worth it. I also agree, not worth it. Next one. You know my answer. I own two of these, so it's a yes for me. <laughs> Tabitha, right? Yes, Tyler, Tabitha. Yes, please. Yes, yes, everybody. Yes, yes. Yeah, right? I'll take two, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, would go, would go. This is like where it's at. I'm sorry, but just like living ferret. So. Yes, also the publication says it's worth it. Travel in style with the Key Powell Duffel. And they also say, if you really want your dollar to stretch at Louis and want to bring some of the designer's rich history to your own closet, look no further but at the Key Paul. I agree. What a way. What a way to travel. Let me tell you. I have a Key Paul 50 with bandolier and a classic monogram. And I have a Key Paul 45. With the Takashi Murakami, without the, without the bandolier, uh, 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 keep all 45 cherries, Takashi Murakami cherries from 2005, which of course I never use because it's like it's so special and rare. I'm so scared to scratch it. I love both. 
Okay. I use Tabitha. Tabitha, my Keepall 50. Love it to bits. It has traveled around the world with me, literally. Love it to bits. Uh, okay. Next one. I'm glad we agree on this one. This is a tricky one. The next one is tricky. Now, this is a seasonal type of speedy with an extra pocket on the side. It's they say it's kind of it's a printed leather. I'm not so sure if it's canvas or leather to be honest with you. Um $2,630. Very light print. There's this white color plus the vaquetta. Kardashian bag, no, no, some of them, but not this one. Don't care for it. Nope, the design is too much. Ew, no, no, wait, no. Everybody says no. Emotion Engine says I like it. Emotion Engine, the price is two thousand six hundred thirty, more or less, plus tax. Raquel says no. It looks like it has eyes and a mouth. Oh my god, it does look like it has eyes and a mouth, and a weird nose that cuts through the mouth. Ah, I don't like the colorway. Says Suzy Q. Yes, Comuelita says. Well, the publication says not worth it. It says maintenance is key, so don't fall for this Louis Vuitton bag. I, what they're what they're telling us in the article is that because it's so light, hard to maintain, it's going to stain easily. I don't know. I I think. Listen, I think if you already have your Speedy Twenty your nano speed, your speedy 25, your speedy 30, your speedy 30, like you got all your speedies in monogram, you got all your speedies in uh, Damier, Damier Azur, Damier Ben, you got all of them. And you're done. And then this thing comes out as a seasonal piece and you're like, oh, let me get a speedy with a little pocket in it. Like, then I get it. Like, you get this if you already have the classic speedies with bandolier, without bandolier. But if you have no speedy whatsoever, and this is the first Speedy you want to get. I would also tell you, honey, no. Get yourself the classic Speedy first and then see how you like it and then invest more money in, in another one. That's just my humble opinion. But I would not begin with this one. Tyler says, white canvas usually does pretty well in my experience, but I just think this bag is ugly. Yeah, there's something about it. I don't like the, the weird kind of off-print monogram like that looks like kind of painted on but with a shadow underneath i i'm not a fan of that but anyway so they say no most of us in the chats also say no so next one this is an interesting one this one is going to be very divisive i think this is going to be a difficult moment so this is the multi pochette bag very famous since several years i mean it's a little bit slowed down now but it used to be super popular and very divisive in the Louis Vuitton community. People either love it or hate it. Is it worth it, though? Coco says no. Natalie says no. Coco Kitty says it looks like a a blan blanched out version of the aquarelle print. Oh, no, that's different. Definitely no. Tyler says overdone and not even cute. No. Tiny Dirt Potato says no. Tina says I love it. Tyler says every tourist in Beverly Hills wears this. Ella says no. Madame says no because Bimbay Lola has many better options. Ooh the shape as a separate bag yes come on Jacob I love the multi pochette bag it's multifunctional lol says Comuelita Blonde and Chatty says how much is it oh price sorry guys hold on let me tell you the price the price is y'all um three th oh no it's covered uh can somebody tell me the price for this thing I have it here but it, I covered it up silly me um two th Around three thousand, it's around three thousand, you guys. Like the price is cut off, so I can only see the tips of the just the tips of the price. It's around about three thousand, I want to say. Maybe I'm wrong. People always say they hate it, but when I style mine with my outfits, people always compliment it. So Unique Rivera it says yes. Leanne says yes. Shirley says no. We need to know the price to judge fully. It's around, you guys. Um. Two thousand seven hundred fifty, I want to say. Two thousand seven hundred fifty. Do I hear three thousand seven hundred fifty? Hold on, I'm gonna tell you guys the exact amount. 
Okay. A multi pockets complete. It will set you back two thousand five hundred seventy dollars plus tax. But the article says, but when you think about how much bag real estate you're getting, it's a little easier to justify the price. Now, as you can guess from what I read now, the article claims that this is worth the price. I, I say no. I say no because I really don't like the strap. And I know it comes in different straps, <laughs> but I just, I, no. It's disproportionately chunky for me. Tyler says it should be at $175 all tea. The amount of leather is slim to none. Kev says, wasn't it like $1,500 when it first came out? Oh, honey. Oh, honey. That was way back in the day. Now we are two years after, well, two years into the pandemic or after the pandemic, and this is the price. It's insane. And it's going to go up even more, even more. Um, No, it's overpriced as Raquel. I, for me, it's a no. But for the magazine, for the article, the article says yes. For them, it's a definite yes. It's worth it, they say. All right, next one. I think this is a no-brainer. The next one from Louis Vuitton. Here we have, uh, well, okay, listen to this, you guys. So this is a sweater that they claim is like a knit sweater with cashmere, right? It costs $2,490. But here's the twist, $2,490 plus tax, but here's the twist. It's not 100% cashmere. It's 73% cashmere, 26% cotton, 1% polyester. I guess they do this blend to make it more sporty because it's Louis Vuitton. They want you to travel in this thing, maybe do some activities with it. Eh, but like... Like almost three thousand dollars for something that's not even pure cashmere. I don't know, you guys. For me, it's a no. For the magazine, it's also so they say not worth it. You can get a cashmere sweater for way less. I agree. I agree. You can get a cashmere sweater for. You can also get a cashmere sweater for way more. You know, this is not the highest price of cashmere we've seen, but it's not pure cashmere. First of all, and second of all, you know, the shape is not that groundbreaking. So, Tina, maybe it does exist in black, but they're showing us the white version. Now, the next one, also going to be quite divisive, I want to say. So, we got the Star Trail boots. The boots. The boots. The Star Trail boots are going to cost you $1,660 US plus tax. I can't believe at this point the magazine this article lost me because I was like this is funny I gotta make a video about this because what they say about these shoes I'm like Chah. okay so Steph says not for Canva Steph Coco says no I hate them. <laughs> Tyler says no something about the shape gives early 2010s Jeffrey Campbell lead a boot Blanchetti says this is enjoyable Jacob missed first part has had to pop off well welcome back darling Kim says no when he says, my daughter would love these. Not my thing, but she's a tall girl. I love heels type of girl, lol. I've always liked these. I don't hate these, but need a zipper. I don't know if they have a zipper on the other side, on the interior side. Oh, maybe they do, maybe they don't. You never know with these shoes, but... <laughs> Too much logo? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a monogram. Well, okay, so listen to what the article says. The article says, worth it. And they say worth it because they call these ankle boots a timeless statement. At this point, the article lost me. I'm like, this ain't timeless. This is very time specific. This is time specific. This is not timeless. Thousand six hundred sixty plus tax. Now, if these were Chanel, they would cost you two thousand seven hundred. So considering that the price is not, you know, that high, if you really love them, I get it. But I would not justify them because they're timeless. They're not timeless. I would only justify them if you're into chunky heel monogram boots. Then I would say, yeah, go for it. But otherwise, no. Thousand 
thousand one hundred, but not a thousand six hundred sixty or whatever they cost. Yeah, a thousand six hundred sixty plus tax. At the very high school says uh, Tyler. Ella says now that I'm thinking about it, no, I would have loved these in high school, but now my style is so different. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's a high school vibe. This is very gossip girl. Anyway, so the article says worth it. I say not really. Now the next one, you're gonna be surprised. Okay, so the next one is the niece vanity case in the biggest form, in the biggest size. The niece vanity case, um, $2,990 plus tax. Susie says no. Sweet thing says worth it. Trisha says no. Emotion says yes. Tyler says cute for travel, but as a bag, no. Ella says yes. Give it to me. Raquel, hell no. This is glossy, grossly overpriced. Steph says I don't mind the monogram. I just don't want them all over my feet. Oh, that, we're talking about shoes still. Natalie says no. Janela says yes. Nope. The overpriced is no longer worth it. I love this. Okay, so we're we're torn. We are torn. Take a note. LVMH, look at what we're delivering to you here. Interesting information. So we're having yeses and noes. We're very torn on this one, aren't we? It is quite pricey at this point, right? They say that it'll make you feel like Audrey Hepburn walking around with a removable strap, making everyone in the airport jealous as you do so. My God, this article is so cringe, but anyway. So they say it's not worth it. The article says it's not worth it. They say, don't risk makeup and product spillage on a Louis Vuitton vanity bag. That's a silly way to, to, to justify not, not making this thing worth it. If you're going to buy a vanity bag, you're going to get spillage. But this one on the interior, it's washable. It has that plastic interior. You can wipe it off. It might stain, but you can wipe it off. The reason why... I wouldn't buy this is not because of potential spillage in a vanity case of beauty products. I would just not buy this size. I would buy the smaller ones because they're so much cuter and much cheaper. Um, I would maybe buy the, because there's like three of those, you know, niece, like the, there's the, the, the small, medium, large, and then there's the actual niece vanity. I would buy the large one or the medium one, not this one. This one is a bit too much. Also, because the other ones are much cheaper and kind of more compact and cuter. I don't like all this extra straps, detachable stuff on the outside. It makes it look a little, it's a bit much. It's a little bit much. Anyway, you know what I mean? It's a bit much. Now let me show you the next one. Yeah, the strap placement is weird. I agree with you, Kev. Now we have the Louis Vuitton backpack. I think they're generalizing any Louis Vuitton backpack in general. Now this particular one, $2,440 plus tax, a lot of canvas, tiny bit of leather. It is a tiny one. Um, it's a tiny one, right? Six, in, six times eight times 3.9 inches in size. Not my cup of tea. Tina says yes. And Moshe says this model in size, no. Angela says no, 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 no. Also for me, no, the article says it's worth it. They say focus on function with a Louis Vuitton backpack. And they say it's functional for on the go in the city because it's tiny. It's like your bag. It's slightly bigger than a regular bag. It fits stuff. You know, your wallet when you're rushing, doing running errands in town makes you look youthful, chic, young, mystique. Steph says 100% yes, I have it. Blonde and Chatty says no, but my style, I'm a classic girly, not a hiker. Raquel says too small for the price. Tyler says, maybe for a teen it's cute, but anyone over 25 looks weird with this on. Um, depend. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Well, the article says it's worth it. They say, focus on function. We love the idea of just chucking your stuff into a bag, grabbing and on the go, basically. is. And you can also detach the straps and just hold a little, detach the shoulder straps, and then you can just hold it by the handle. Anyway, don't shoot the messenger, just reading here, right? Uh, that was it. That was it. Those were the 11 choices that the article chose. I think it's very interesting how they focused on these pieces because they kind of combined a little bit of everything. 
Uh, we've had bags, we've had shoes, we've had clothing, we've even had coats. Um, the only thing that they didn't showcase is like, I would have liked to have seen a belt or two in this selection and small leather goods. I would have loved to see like a passport holder, uh, one of those pocket organizers, an agenda. Um, and then I would also have loved to have seen in this selection, uh, like, you know, their ceramics, like their, the, the vase for the apartment, the ceramic pieces, you know, for the ho homeware. I would have loved to have like a list of all the things. And then I would have loved to have seen also Louis Vuitton perfume in the selection as well as sunglasses. So it wasn't the best list of this article, but it's interesting still to see what, you know, why they chose these pieces because they think this is like the best sellers. Um, very, very fascinating. Anyway, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts about these 11 pieces in the comment section down below. Beg and ferret to know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe and never give up on love.